So I am, well I was doing some solder weld training, patching this poor coil like a zillion times. Which by the way, you can see, these patches look pretty good, even when done by rank amateurs. But I'm actually here to drop off this drain pan. So I've got a train drain pan. One of these guys, I'm not sure which one. Let's go find Eric, the world's nicest van. Still jealous about that. So is it actually a cracked drain pan? Yeah. Like for real. What do we got here? Not sure that was in him. Well, probably it was dripping out the bottom because there was no tension on it whatsoever. Mm. So some, it looks like somebody did some kind of job on this in the past, you think? I have no idea. I think so. Good old train drain pan. This is actually a pretty easy application. Yeah, I'm like, I don't even have to even unswept this coil. It's so small. Oh, you just lifted it out of the drain pan? There's two screws on the back, so if you don't have some sort of, I showed this tool before, remember? Okay. If you don't have some sort of one of these, Getting these two out of the back is gonna be fun. Got, but, got it, okay, so you just took the two out of the front and slid that in there, took the two out of the back and then just lifted her out. Yeah, on a coil this small, it's easy. Most people don't think of this too when you got a filthy drain pan. Most guys are like, oh, we gotta pull the coil to clean the drain pan. Well, what I've done in a lot of cases is pulled the blower, pull these panels off like you see. Mm -hmm. I'll take the screws out of the front, maybe the ones out of the back, but you could usually get some clear tubing under there in a vacuum and you can clean under it. Hmm. And then you can lean over the blower and you can get the back where the blower was. You're gonna be where the blower was. I have never thought of doing that. I would have been one to definitely pump down the unit to do this job. Well, with the coil this small too, I was like, this, this is gonna be easy. If it was a bigger coil, I might think about like getting like a, a strap and grabbing, you know, hook two hook points. I might have to add somewhere up here, you know, and then lift the strap up. Well, I'm gonna watch you do this. In just about every application, you can get the coil to slide forward a little. And if you want to look in there, if you slide the coil forward that far, you can get right to the back of the pan, no problem. You got plenty of room to work. And blowers come out pretty easy. I mean, I guess it really depends on how much play you have on your copper. I mean, so in this case, we, it's kind of an ideal situation because we've got this big riser. Well, yeah. And it gives you a lot of extra play. So if you had one, I'm just imagining if you had one coming out of a platform top or something and it was just like all really tight, that might be yeah, a little but more difficult. All you really need is a couple inches and you can get, what I use is the clear tubing that comes with condensate pumps. And when you take these screws out and lift, even if you just lift up the front of the coil, you can snake it under there. Mm -hmm. And even if, even if this was almost all the way back, and we could, even if it's all the way back, really, we could still snake that down in there. Right. It's a little bit easier when you can see what you're doing, but you can get a drain pan pretty clean that way without pumping a unit down. Yep. Good old train air handler. Notorious check valve. Notoriously, oh, it. yeah, rattly check valves. Well, we don't know about that down here in non-heat pump land. You don't know about rattly check valves? We never run it in heat, man. Oh, good point. I guess it doesn't matter. I mean, I guess it, they, they can really still. I've never really had a customer complain about right, one. Right, right. You can still have them bypass if they're not seating or something. But yeah, that's the, always the issue with the trains. Is the and, and generally the rattling check valves are in the condenser. That's when you use the old magnet kit. Well, that was um, that was exceptionally informative and exceptionally boring. But here's the short videos. Mm -hmm.